What's going on, Hornets? My name is Colin Hunt with DESU TV, and we're here at Alumni Stadium to host a press conference for the football team to talk about their upcoming season. We will also be asking players what made them want to pursue football, what activities do they want to do on campus, and what advice do they have for the incoming freshmen. We will also be asking the new head coach, how has he been preparing for the new up and coming season and his feelings from transferring from Howard University to Delaware State University. As taking on the new role as head coach, how have you been spending the off season preparing? Taking on the role as a new head coach in the off season, um, just trying to get the guys prepared uh, for the season. You know, it's been a long process. We had spring ball, we had winter conditioning, um, we had summer access. And now tomorrow we'll start our first practice, but just trying to get the guys prepared physically and mentally. Really what we're trying to do is just uh, teach these guys to, to be a little bit more accountable, uh, be a little bit more disciplined, um, be smarter in how, how, they, how they approach things, be more um, intentional, you know, have a plan when, they're, when they know they have to do certain things. Just really trying to um, get them to be more mindful of what they're doing and, and how to present themselves to the public. Well, when I got my degree um, trying to pursue football, I, I originally, um, I don't think I really saw myself uh, pursuing football. I know uh, after college, uh, I had a couple of tryouts that it didn't work with the NFL and then um, I worked for a financial company for a year, didn't like that, went back and got a tryout in, in the CFL, so I kind of made it. And then once I got done uh, playing professional football, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I went and got my master's in secondary education, taught high school for six years, coached high school football, um, girls, varsity basketball, and then I fell in love with coaching, so then I wanted to uh, get into college coaching, so that's kind of how I fell into coaching football. Uh, how do I feel about flipping to the other side with DSU and Howard? Um, rivalry. Um, it feels great, you know. Um, I'm, I bleed red, you know, um, so I'm a DSU, DSU guy. So it's going to be interesting, you know, obviously they're going to be a little Lasage, you know, um, playing, playing them, but at the end of the day, um, I bleed red. I believe our new coach right now, he's going to affect our team in a positive way, more so because he's trying to instill in us that we need to be relentless on both sides of the ball. So I feel like overall we're going to be dominant on all parts of the game. New coaches, they're teaching us about the little things, teaching us how to be disciplined, you know, uh, always being early, 10 minutes early. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late, you know what I mean? With those like improvements and stuff, I feel like we'll be successful in the year. Coach Hall is a really great coach. I've knew him before coming here it's, uh, somewhat just because uh, he went to school with my dad. So I already knew a basic knowledge on him, how good of a coach he was, good of a player he was. So I know his mentality is in the right space and his coaching is, he's going to put us on a straight line. I know that for sure. When it comes to football, what do you think gives you an advantage on the field? For me, when it comes to football, my advantage is uh, knowing the game of football, being a student of the game, uh, making sure that I'm versatile in many different aspects, being able to run the ball, catch the ball, return kicks, just bring anything to the table. What gives me an advantage on the field is just an overall game sense and football IQ that I can bring to the table. I mean, with me putting academics first and being an athlete second, I really feel like me being knowledgeable and smart brings a lot to the table. What is one event that will make me want to pursue football full time? Uh, basically, being young, I loved uh, playing the game. Uh, found that it was my first love at four years old. Just been playing ever since then. It's been a, a great experience. and. It's a blessing to be able to play uh, at this level that I'm doing right now. One event in my life that made me pursue football full time was just a matter of the love for the game. I mean, from when I was four years old and I started running around playing tackle football, I mean, I just absolutely loved football. So I just, you know, you just as a pathway for my academics. Mm -hmm. One advice I'll give to the freshmen coming onto the team is to stay disciplined, stay in the books, um, stay focused on what is the goal at hand, you know, what you're here for. Um, not just, you know, partying and things like that. You know, yeah, have fun, but remember why you came in for it. Remember who you're doing it for. For your mom, for your parents, things like that. People come from bad areas and came come here, you know, they lose um, focus. They, they get distracted off things. And I would just say to stay focused, stay disciplined, and to trust in God. Trust in God and what he, what he can do for you. I, one advice for freshmen that are incoming is time management. I mean, just... You can't, do, you can't do what an athlete does and go to school without time management to know what's important and what's not important. Mm -hmm. And 
that's a wrap for today's press conference. I'm Colin Hunt signing off with DE Issue TV. We'll see y'all in the next episode.